Hey everyone, today we are going to make Christmas ornaments with our Cricut. Please like and subscribe if you like this video. All right, let's for all my it. Cricut lovers, this one is for you. So, design space. If you have it, you know what to do. You type in what you want. I like to center it to make it look a little bit nicer. And then with this one is an ornament for my sister. She just had a baby this year. So I wanted to put the year. So every year when she puts it on her tree, she can remember it. And it's a good memory. And, you know, everybody's happy. Um, so what you do is you got to make sure you measure it correctly. There's squares on the mat. And then it also matches your design space. So just make sure it fits because there's so many times I had to recut something. And that's a nightmare because... You just waste all this vinyl, which is why I have a whole bag filled with different scraps and pieces because you just never know. It could be something super small and you're just like, oh, here's a perfect piece. Um, you can put it in either corner on your mat because depending on how you load it, it always starts it in the top left corner. So if it's upside down, it'll be at the bottom right. Just make sure you load it correctly. Um, and then scrape it on there, leaving the backing of your vinyl on there. Because at the end, you'll take that off. So when it's done, you hit the unload button, take your mat off, and then you peel the entire piece of vinyl off, even with the backing. This is called weeding, and what you have to do is take out all the letters, every single piece, and just kind of... Make your way through, get out all the extra plastic, and cut off the extra um, pieces at the edge of it. You're going to take your vinyl transfer tape and cut out the perfect piece that will fit what you already cut. Put it to the side and then take the plastic off. I like to stick it to my shirt or something because sometimes it's too sticky and it'll make your letters not want to come off of it. And then rub it really hard so that way it all comes up with it. Then take your ornament and place it exactly where you want it and push it on there with the scraper tool as the best you can. And then peel back your letters. Sometimes, especially with this being wood, it's really flaky. So it's a little bit more difficult to get it to stick. So you'll see it takes me a little bit longer than it would with just like something less like grainy. When you're done with that, I like to take an extra piece of paper and rub my scraper over it, and it helps it stick better. Now we're going to take Mod Podge. It doesn't really matter what kind it is as long as it dries clear. I like to scoop a bunch on it just to spread it around, especially because this is wood, and there's a lot of little like holes in it and stuff, so I'm trying to fill it in to make it look a lot smoother and finished and not so rustic looking because it, it's supposed to last, you know, so a good coat on it really goes a long way, and it, it gives it a nice shine, and it just holds the letters on, and it just looks really nice. So I went and grabbed some supplies. These are like pine tree branches and they're really cool because they're like pipe cleaners so they're really easy to twist together and bend so I just turned it into a little wreath threw it on there um I grabbed a bunch of different ribbons that I just had laying around um honestly that's from a kid's craft that I got at the dollar store and they're really cute shiny gold little ribbons um, at this point, I really didn't know what I wanted to do exactly with it. I just am winging it. Um, but to make a bow, it's really simple. You just make the loop really quick, and then you loop it around like you're tying your shoes and just pull it through. And it makes a really nice bow. And then you can just cut the ends and, you know, finish it and clean it up if that's what you wanted to do. 
but I decided that I actually wanted to go with this red yarn that I also had. Um, so I made a bow, which later on I'll show you what we'll do with it. But then I also took another piece of red string and I just wrapped it around it kind of loosely. So it looked more like a ribbon because at first I had did it a little too tight and it just didn't look as good because the little green branches hit it. So just make sure you do it loose and it'll just turn out really nice looking like this perfect little ribbon. Um, and I mean, you know, this is an ornament that you want to keep on forever. So you want to make sure it looks really nice and just tie it in just a simple knot at the end. I like to double knot everything so it stays on really well. And then I'm going to go ahead and cut it, leaving a little bit on and take the bow that we just made and we're just gonna tie it right onto it so it doesn't even look like you had cut it in separate pieces in the first place. It's just gonna look really nice together. Um, there will be little pieces left so you're gonna just cut those off and just straighten your bow out and it just looks really good. Put it back on there. If you want, you can glue it um, I don't want to just because it is a gift for my sister and I'm not sure how she's going to feel about it. So she has the option to take it on or off. Um, I also have these really cool beads that they're in the shape of like little, um, you know, those big lights that you see. Um, so I'm just taking those and I'm putting them all around it. And I like to use each of every color there was a couple blue so the more colors I think the better and we're just gonna hot glue it on there be careful not to burn your fingers because I almost did that and that is definitely not fun and I've done it way 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 too many times I'll just be my husband be in the other room and he's just like what happened because I'm screaming because I burned my finger <laughs> so be really really careful and there's going to be a, a little extra glue strings, you know, just pull those off. And at the end, once it dries, you can clean it up, make it look a lot nicer. And voila, here's your beautiful ornament. It looks so good on the tree. And these are also some other ideas that I did. So there's so many things you could do with this. Different color bows, and it's it just makes everyone's personality and everyone loves them. I hope you love them. Thank you guys.